Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is William Ragg. So what has he done? Well, something pretty stupid, but not just for himself, but also other colleagues that he's put in a difficult spot. The Tory MP who is the chair of a committee is likely to be forced to resign over this as he has no doubt breached parliamentary codes and perhaps some within his party if the Tories have such a thing. Have a listen. Welcome back. Um you know, one of the things they say in television is don't go to break because you never know what's going to happen during that break. Uh, during the last two minutes, um, a new story has landed which says that a senior Conservative MP has in, admitted his involvement in a honey trap sexting scandal targeting a minister and fellow MPs. He is William Ragg, who's the chairman of a com common select committee, and he told The Times that he had handed over the personal phone numbers of, per of colleagues to a person he met on Grindr, which, if you don't know, is a gay dating app. And he provided the details after sending intimate pictures of himself to the user. He says that he did so because he was scared that the individual had compromising things on me. Oh, my goodness. So, first of all, what the heck was he thinking sending pictures to this individual? Like, you're an MP. You're a public representative. You're the head of a committee. Do you honestly think that this was a good idea? Even, even if this wasn't a honey trap, why would you be sending pictures to somebody if you're a, a public representative? Don't you know that this sort of information would eventually get out? Now, I, we don't know the motivation behind this, behind this honey trap, but to add insult to injury, of course, what does he do? He gives the numbers personal phone numbers of colleagues. Now, I don't know if these are other MPs, other members of the Conservative Party, government uh, officials, we don't know. But giving out numbers, why didn't he go to the police? Why did he go to a newspaper? Now, I don't know, maybe in the, in the article he went to the, the police first, but it would make more sense to go to the police and report this. this. This person is attempting to blackmail me. I'm an MP. This is pretty serious. But it shows the complete lack of judgment here. And he should resign over this. Not because he's a Tory MP, but because this was a stupid thing to do. To allow yourself to get into a situation like this and to give over personal information of colleagues without their consent. Now, this will be just another example of a Tory getting involved in something like this. You know, what is it with the Conservative Party and their MPs not being able to control themselves. So this is why he's our Fool of the Week. See you next time for our next Fool of the Week.